I am Mamul Weda, as a PhD student at Mims Kyoto University. Today, I would like to talk about relationships between affine superunions, which are one kind of super quantum groups, and rectangular W super algebras, which are one kind of super, uh, vertex super algebras. Uh, precisely speaking, I will construct a subjective homomorphisms from affine superunions to, to universal enveloping algebras of rectangular W super algebras. This is the rest of today's talk. In the first section, I will explain the background and previous researches of the main theorem. In the second section, I will explain, explain several kinds of yandians, which contain finite yandians and two affine yandians and affine super yandians. And in the third section, I will explain the extangular W super algebras of type F briefly. In particular, I will give the generators of the extangular W super algebras of, of type A explicitly uh, in the universal affine vertex algebra. And in the last section, I will explain how to prove the main theorem. Now I will start to explain the background. First, let us recall the finite onions. The finite onions were first introduced by Dreamfeld in order to solve the quantum Yambachta equation for uh, solving the problem of quantum stress shattering problem. The finite onion is one kind of quantum group that is a uh, finite onion is a Hopper algebra determined by a simple, a finite dimensional simple real algebra and one complex number, H. And we say we said H is equal to zero, then the finite andia coincides with the universal enveloping algebra of the current algebra associated with the finite dimensional real simple real algebra K. The current algebra is a real algebra the vector space is gated sub one polynomial ring and uh, its commutator ratio is derived from naturally from the k and one polynomial ring. So the Yandian, finite Yandian is a deformation of the current algebra. It is well known that finite Yandians are closely related to W algebras. For example, the, in the finite case, the the yeah, work of Ragosi Sorber uh, or the work of Brandon Kreschev, or uh, in the affine case, the work of Sigma Basel, and so on. Next, I, I briefly record W algebras and finite W algebras. A W algebra is a vertex algebra determined by a finite dimensional deductive D super algebra, and it's even new potent element and one complex number, which is called Weber. And we can define the W super algebra as a, by, by using the quantum green phase of production. On the other hand, a finite W super algebra is an associative algebra associated with a finite dimensional deductive real super algebra and its even new potent element. As for the relationships between the W super algebras, uh, the finite W super algebra is a quotient of a finite W super algebra as a vector space. And precisely speaking, uh, it is a, the finite W algebra is a two algebra of the W super algebra. So we can regard it as a finite analog of, uh, of W super algebra. We give two examples. Uh, to the easy examples of W super algebras. And uh, in the first, the first case is a case that near potent element F is equal, to, sorry, as a, the K is equal to SL2. In this case, the W algebra becomes a virtual algebra if K is not critical. So, the, 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 and the other case is a case that the near potent element F is equal to zero. 
And in this case, the LFW algebra becomes the universal affine vertex algebra. Then it is natural to consider the question whether we can it, we can write down the defining relations of W super algebras for a general K and its important element. However, it is so complicated that we cannot easily write down the defining relations of the W super algebras directly. And this difficulty has been uh, already partially proved, but even resolved in the finite analog that is a finite W super algebras, a finite W algebras. So we consider the same question in the finite setting. That is, uh, can we write down the finite W algebras? In type A case, the Brandon question resolves this problem. I suppose, they suppose, I suppose that K is KLM and F is a generally important element. Then Brandon question constructed a subjective homophism from a 60p idea which is a subalgebra of finite Yandian of type A to the arbitrary W super W algebras, a finite W algebras of type A. And moreover, they can write down a any arbitrary finite W finite W algebra of type A as a size, quotient algebra of a safety piano. So we hope to obtain the super fine analog of the work of Brandon question. However, it is very, very complicated, so we restrict to the special case. The case, it is called the rectangular case. We set J as JLN, and then we can regard JLN as a set of quotient AKLN quotient L times L matrices. So we take F as a KLN coefficient L times N matrix. A first diagonal components are equal to the zero matrices, and subdiagonal components are equal to identity matrices. And other components are equal to zero matrices. We call a W algebra associated with such K and F a rectangular W algebra, and we also call and rectangular uh, finite W finite W's algebra associated with such K and F a rectangular finite W algebra. In this case, clear bias, the work of Brandon Kreshev, Ragosi and Sora constructed the subjective homophisms from the finite Yandia associated with SMN to the rectangular the finite W algebras of type A. So we, our goal of this talk is to construct the superfine analog of Ragos, the work of Ragos' solver. The question becomes that uh, there exists, as there exists, a uh, subjective home from the affine Yandian to Alexandria W. Algebra. At first, the sigma and bus zero resolves the, this problem in the case that n is equal to one. Uh, in this case, uh, the, the, the J becomes KL and F becomes a new potent, principal new potent element of K. So we call a W algebra associated with such K and F a principal W algebra. The corresponding Yandia is a uh, affine Yandia associated with K L one hat. Uh, which is defined geom by geometric realization. Then, sigma and Basero constructed the subjective homophisms from the affine Yandia associated with scale one hat to the universal enveloping algebra of rectangular W, so principal W algebras. Uh, the universal enveloping algebra means in the sense of printed we will explain the definition briefly later. Then they solve the AGP conjecture by using this form of it. And there exists the uh, action of the affine Yandian associated with K1 hat on the equivalent cohomology of instant modular on CPU. Then 
they construct by using this form of reason. Uh, they, they, they show, they construct an uh, action of principal WL Jairus on the equivalent cohomology of instant modular of C2. That's, we go, no, then we uh, extend this result to uh, this, this, we extend this sigma bus, the result of the sigma bus to the general in the case. The, this is the main result of, of this, this talk. We assume that n is greater than and equal to three. And this condition is needed for defining the, the, the dwarf of an Indian. And we also assume that L is greater than and equal to two. Yeah, in the case that L is equal to one, the, 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 this, this result is, has been already resolved by the work of Dwight and the work of Godera. Then, under these conditions, there exists an uh, algebra homomorphism from the Aguiza Fanyandian to the universal enveloping algebra of rectangular W algebra of type A. Moreover, if K is non critical, that means K plus L minus 1N is not equal to zero, then the image of phi is dense in the target. So the any representation of rectangular W algebra of type A can be uh, regarded as a representation of uh, the Afghuiza Fanyandian via this homomorphism. And the irreducibility condition can be preserved uh, if K is non critical via this homomorphism. And uh, there exists a super version of this result. And uh, we assume that M and N is greater than and equal to 2, and M is not equal to N. And uh, this is a condition in order to define the affine superiandian. And I also ass assume that L is greater than or equal to two. In the case uh, when L is equal to one has been already resolved by me. Then there exists an affine an super affine super algebra homomorphism from the affine superiandians to the rectangular, to the universal enveloping algebras of rectangular W super algebras of type A. And if K is not critical, that means K plus L minus one M minus N is not equal to zero, then the image of phi is dense in the body. So any representation of rectangular W super algebra uh, can be regarded as a representation of the affine super idea via this form of it. And the irreducibility condition can be preserved via this form if K is non critical. Now, uh, we say in order to prove how to prove, explain how to prove that this, this main result, we explain the, uh, the Yandias and the Alexandria W algebra of type A uh, in detail, respectively. And uh, let us recall the finite W, finite Yandias again. And uh, the finite Yandia is one kind of quantum group, uh, which is the deformation of the current algebra. Now, current algebra is a, the vector, is a B algebra whose vector space is given as one polygonal ring, and the computer ratio is given by distribution. And there exists a natural, represent, natural representation of the current algebra. A universal, the generators are follows. We set the HI and XI plus minus as Chevrolet generators of K. Uh, we assume that K is a finite dimensional simple real Chevrolet. So, uh, then, then, then. We take the generators of the universal enveloping algebra of the current algebra as Aji tensor u to the power of r and Xi tensor Xi plus minus tensor u to the power of r. Then the defining ratio becomes the follows. The first three versions and the last ratio are derived from the defining ratio of G. And these two ratios are derived from the carbon polymer ring. In order to define the Yandian, finite Yandian, 
we default these relations. The finite Pandian, as a definite high, is defined as follows. The generators of the finite Pandian is the same as those of the universal enveloping algebras of the current algebras. And we don't change the defining relations derived from these two relations derived from common S then. Then these relations, we add the correlation terms to the right hand side of these relations. And however, when we set H is equal to zero, then these right hand sides are vanished or vanished. So when we set H is equal to zero, then the defining relations of the Yandia maybe is equal to the, those of the universal enveloping algebra of the current algebra. So the Yandia becomes the deformation of the current algebra. Then it is natural to consider the question whether we can define the Yandians associated with general symmetrizable continuity algebras. And the, uh, the answer is as follows. By using this definition of the Yandian, we can define the uh, Yandian associated with the general symmetrizable continuity algebra. Uh, and when we set H is equal to zero, then this relation becomes the universal enveloping algebra of some real algebras. Uh, we remark that it, uh, the real algebra is not equal to the current algebra of K. For example, K is SL hat N, then it becomes a universal central extension of SL N U plus minus one. So it is not equal to the the current algebra. However, it becomes the real algebra. So, uh, we, <coughs> it's a further condition. One of the condition of the counter group uh, that is satisfied. However, we don't know whether this Yandian becomes a fine or hope algebra or a general symmetrizable Katsumi DD algebra. Uh, precisely speaking, if K is a affine the algebra, uh, it was shown that this algebra becomes a Hopper algebra. Uh, precisely in the type A11 case, uh, Javoyevchenko and Rubendovsky constructed a, a Hopper algebra structure of the Andean. However, their, their definition is not equal to the, this definition. So this uh, strictly, it is not, it is no, even, it is not resolved. And the affine D algebra, in the case that affine D algebra accepts all types A1, types A11, and A2 case, uh, in this case, uh, the Kuai Nakajima Wendland con constructed a Hope algebra structure on the affine Yandia. And the case of type A2, uh, in this case, is resolved. In this case, is resolved by me. So the affine case is resolved or has already been resolved, but the general case is an open problem. Uh, so then we can, so in the affine case, we can regard the Yandia associated with an affine algebra uh, as a counter group. In order to construct the relationships between the Yandians and the affine uh, Yandians and W super W algebras, uh, we need to extend the, uh, the definition of the Yandia to the two parameter case. The two parameter Yandia was first introduced by Guai and it was sometimes called Guai's affine Yandia. Next, we recall the, Guai's, uh, the definition of Guai's affine Yandia. Then the Guai's affine the Yandia is defined as these relations. The generators of the Guise affine Yandia is the same as those of the one parameter case. And we don't change the defining relations derived from the defining relations of SL hat n. And we add 
these correlation terms. Uh, we then we set epsilon one and epsilon two as a half of h. Then these relations are equal to the those of the one parameter test. So it is a natural extension of the definition of the Yandia. And the twice are in Yandia also has a whole algebra structure. And when if when we set if Schroeder and if Schroeder two is equal to zero, then it becomes the universal enveloping algebra of the universal central extension of the SLUN U plus V plus minus one. So it is it is a the quantum it has a quantum group structure. And uh, uh, and it it we the guys are fine and they also have a presentation. Uh, whose number of the generators are finite. We call this presentation a uh, minimus presentation. Uh, so when, when we construct a home fitting from the Gwaiza Fine we only need to, uh, to to set the image of these, these generators and it is enough to check that uh, the home fitting is uh, compatible with a minimus presentation. And the Gweiser fine Yandia has a shift operator and a evaluation mode. The shift operator is an endomorphism of the Gweiser fine Yandia defined by these relations. And the evaluation map is a homomorphism from the Gweiser fine Yandia to the degree wise completion of the universal enveloping algebra of Gale Hutton. And, this, and it was first introduced by Gray, and the subjectivity of the evaluation map was first shown by Baudet. Uh, in order to construct a home freedom from the two either fine Yangian to the universal enveloping algebra, so the standard W algebra of so type A, uh, we need to we show need to uh, explain more about the about the whole algebra structure of on the Kuwaiza fine Yangian. We set a uh, degree on the Kuwaiza fine Yangian by using these relations. Then uh, we can define the degree by the completion of the Kuwaiza fine Yangian or the tensor products or tensor algebra of the Kuwaiza fine Yangian. Then we can define the co-product co 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 for the fine Yangian as an algebra homomorphism from the Guaiza fine Yangian to the degree comprise completion of the, the two times 10 power tensor of the Guaiza fine Yangian. And we remark that the target of this homomorphism is not equal to the one of the Guai Nakashima Wendland. Hey. In order to construct the relationships between uh, Gwaiza fine Yandias and W algebras, uh, we change the definition of the completion. And uh, we can, since this, home, this algebra homophism satisfies the coercibility, so we can regard this algebra as a co-product for the Gwaiza fine Yandias. So, and we also remark that, uh, that we can extend the domain of the evaluation map or a shift operator or a coproduct to the degree wise completion of the Gwai and, and Gwai, uh, of the Gwai and the fine Yandia. Uh, this, uh, this remark is needed for uh, the construction of the form of the main desert. Next, we explain the super analog of the Kuwaiza fine Yandia. We assume that M and N is equal, equal uh, is greater than and equal to two, and M is not equal to N. Yeah, this is the condition in order to define the fine super Yandia. And we also set the parity of I and fix the Cartan matrix of the SL hat MN. And we also define the M plus N times M plus N matrix 
uh, in order to define the correlation of the uh, fine yang gap. Then we can define the affines by Yandi by using by the deviations. The generators are the same as those of the small super case. And the these relations is those are first three relations and the rest three relations are derived from the definite defining relation of SL hat element. And these two relations are same as those of the who are is affine And then the affine super Yandian uh, has uh, similar features to the results of the Gua is affine Yandian. The, Gwai, the affine super Yandian also has a whole algebra structure. And when we said epsilon one and epsilon two is equal to zero, then the affine super Yandian it becomes the universal enveloping algebra of the central extension of SLM and U plus U plus minus one. And it also has a presentation whose number of generators are, uh, uh, is fi are finite. So, so we call this presentation, uh, we, also, uh, we also call uh, this, this presentation a uh, minimized presentation. And if it's a fine super idea, also has an endomorphism called safety uh, and and they exist as homophism from the affine super yandian to the reverse completion of the universal enveloping algebra of Gerhard and Mann called the evaluation. So we can treat the affine super yandian in the similar way to the one of the affine yandian. Uh, next, uh, we, uh, this is all. This is all for uh, my explanation of the uh, Afriyandia. Next, we we'll explain the phi W algebras, rectangular W algebras of type A. And the W algebra is a vertex algebra. A uh, vertex algebra is a collection of data, so the vector space called the space of the state. And uh, this element called uh, the Ibatian vector, or, and the, the endomorphism called the translation vector, and the linear map called the field, and they satisfy these conditions. And in order to construct uh, the homomorphism from the Yandia to the, from the Yandia to the W algebra, uh, uh, we need to construct uh, an associative algebra, which gives the information of the W algebra. It is a universal enveloping algebra. For any vertex algebra, we set uh, the algebra, which is sometimes called bourgeoisie algebra. Uh, the vector space of the bourgeoisie algebra is given by this, this, this it is given like this. Uh, it is because it is equal to two tensor CT inverse divided by this relation. And th this relation is derived from the definition of the rise of those uh, vertex of definition of the uh, vertex algebra. And v U tensor T to the power of A, uh, T to the power of N is corresponding to U, T, U bracket N. And the commutator ratio of Rochester's algebra is given as follows. Then, uh, the, this relation is derived from the local DB condition of the vertex algebra. And then we set the universal enveloping algebra of V as a quotient algebra of the derivative completion of the universal enveloping algebra of the Rochester's uh, algebra by the completion of two-sided ER generated by these two relations. The first relation is derived from the locality condition of the W of the vertex algebra. And the second condition, a uh, second relation is derived from this relation. So this this and then, then, so this algebra is a universal enveloping algebra of V gives the uh, information of the, of the vertex algebra V 
So we use this associative algebra in order to construct a uh, form of rhythm from the likewise affine Yandings. And we, we gave one is a very, very easy example of the universal affine vertex sorry, universal entropy algebra or vertex algebras. We suppose that uh, there is a finite dimensional list of algebra and kappa is a inner product on K. Then we can define the affine universal affine vertex algebra uh, uh, associated with K and kappa. Since the universal affine vertex algebra has such OPEs, then we can we then we find that the universal enveloping algebra of the universal affine vertex algebra is a degree of completion of the universal enveloping algebra of K hat. Next. And we explain, I will explain, let us recall the finite W algebra briefly, very, very briefly. Uh, we, we don't uh, uh, know the state uh, uh, definition of the W algebra algebra in detail since it, we don't use it. Uh, we fix a complex number called rebel and a finite dimensional reductive V super algebra and it is in an invariant in a product, and it's even near potent element. Then we can define the W super algebra by using the quantum joint effects of reduction. Now it is the easiest example of the W super algebra that when we set F is equal to zero, then the W super algebra becomes a universal fine vertex algebra associated with K and so some K, some kappa, some in, yeah, some in, it's in a product. The, since the universal enveloping algebra of the universal affine vertex algebra is equal to the degree wise completion of the universal enveloping algebra of J hat. So then, when we set K is equal to JLMN, then the evaluation becomes a homophism of the main design. That means uh, 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 the evaluation map becomes a uh, subjective homophism from uh, affine super Yandia to the degree wise completion of the universal mental enveloping algebra of the hat MN. That means the uh, universal enveloping algebra of the W algebra associated with Germer MN and as the so it is the most it is the easiest example of the magic again descent. We consider the more general case, uh, more general and special case. And hereafter, we consider the following J and F. We set J as GLML and GLML NL, and then we can regard J as a set of GLML coefficients. L times L matrices. Then we take F as a GLMN coefficient L times L matrix, such that whose, whose diagonal components are equal to their matrix, matrices, and sub diagonal components, uh, all of the sub diagonal components are equal to identity matrices, and other components are equal to their matrices. Then F becomes a near potent element of J and it becomes an even near potent element. Then we call a W algebra, super algebra associated with such K and F, a rectangular W super algebra. Uh, the case when M is equal to one and N is equal to zero, then D is equal to KRF as a, a uh, uh, as a vector of uh, the and F becomes the principal important element of JRL, so it is a principal double algebra. And when in the case that L is equal to one, I guess, in this case, F becomes a zero matrix. So the W algebra associated with such K and F is equal to as a universal affine vertex algebra. 
it is a, it is the example of the last page of the, uh, of the former page. Well, we, we and next, uh, I will give the explicit generators of left and your W super algebras of type A in the universal fine vertex algebra. We set the, uh, so we set a sub algebra of J, a B as follows. And B is a, a JLMN coefficient triangular row matrices in the J, this sub algebra. And we set an uh, inner product on B by this relation. Then, the by using the work of Katsuro and Wakimoto, a left W super algebra can be realized as a sub algebra of the universal affine vertex algebra associated with B and kappa. Then, and the, the, we can construct the explicit generators of left W super algebras in the universal affine vertex algebras associated with B and kappa. Uh, in the non-super case, Arakawa and Moref constructed uh, uh, strong generators of the extangular W algebras of type A. And in the super case, I construct the strong generators of the extangular W super algebras of type A, and they, const they contain these kinds of uh, two kinds of relation, two kinds of elements. And I also show that uh, if k is non-critical, that means that k plus n minus one, n minus n is not equal to zero. And we also assume the condition that n plus n is equal to the greater than zero too. Uh, so we, ex we omit, so we exclude the, the, the principal case. Then the rectangular W super algebra of type A is generated by these two kinds of errors. So, uh, so uh, if we expect that uh, uh, HI0 and XI0 plus minus, which is a uh, minimal representation of the fine super Yandian, uh, corresponding to WIJ1, and the HI1 and XI1 plus minus, uh, which are one kind of the uh, uh, minimal representation generators of the minimal representation of the fine super Yandians, uh, corresponding to WIJ2. And this expectation is correct. And we use um, to, uh, this expectation in order to prove the main research. Now we start to, uh, to explain how to prove the main research. Uh, we recall, we recall the uh, first, we recall how to construct a subjective home freedom from the Yang Yang associated from uh, to construct the home freedom of the work of the Ragosi Sorba. Uh, Ragosi and Sorba constructed a subjective home freedom from the finite Yang Yang associated with SLM to the rectangular finite W algebras of type A. And they, you, they proved this statement by you, by a direct computation. Rather, however, however, there exists another, another construction method, uh, uh, proved by random question. Um, they, they can show generally, but we restrict to the rest of the standard case. And um, random question shows that there exists a subjective homophy from the young year associated with Gary. Uh, to the to the rectangular W algebras, finite W algebras of type A. They used the evaluation map and the corporal of the Yang Yang associated with JLN. And first, I, I, I remarked that as uh, a rectangular W finite W algebra of type A can be realized as a subalgebra of the tensor, pro tensor products of the universal enveloping algebra of the array. And we also remarked, I also remarked that, that the, the Yandia, finite Yandia associated with KRN has a co-product and evaluation map. 
Yeah, Brandon Kreschev showed that the homophism from the, the, the constructed by they constructed a homophism from the yeah, yeah, from the Yandia associated with KMN to the finite expandable W algebra subtype uh, uh, but, uh, which satisfy this uh, this commutative map diagrams. Since the embedding of the rectangular finite W algebras and uh, the co-product and evaluation maps are uh, all homomorphism, then it becomes then this home this map this map becomes homomorphism. So maybe we, we use the shared similar similar construction method in the affine case. The, this is the main theorem that we assume that M is greater than or equal to three. And this is the condition in order to define the twice of Angia. And we also assume that A is greater than or equal to two. This is the con in the case A is equal to one. The work of Gurai and work, the work of Gorilla shows that and the, 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 this set shows the same result as this theorem. And that is the evaluation map. And we also, epsilon 1 and epsilon 2, uh, we also, we also, epsilon, we also fix epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 appropriately, and uh, they are independent of K. Then, under these conditions, there exists uh, algebra homophism from the Gwais affine Yangian to the universal enveloping algebra of rectangular W algebras of type A. Moreover, if K is non-critical, that means K plus L minus one M is not equal to zero, then the image of phi is dense in the target. So any representation of rectangular W algebras of type A can be regarded as a representation of the affine Yangian. And moreover, when K is non-critical, then the irreducibility condition can be preserved here is called. Uh, we could explain the outline of the proofs. We construct the homophism explicitly. Uh, we set the image of the generators of the minimum representation of the twice affine Yangian by using the elements of the rectangular W algebras, which are given by Arthur Morris. Justin, in order to show the subjectivity, uh, it, it is enough to check that these relations are, are contained in the target uh, uh, if K is non critical level. Um, it is very, very easy uh, from the construction, from the, defined, from the definition of the homorphism. So we omit the proof of the subjectivity and we only explain how to construct as a, as a homophism. And by using the result of Katz Wachimoto, then we can, we can, we, then there are, we can find, we find that there exists a homophism from the universal enveloping algebra of GL hat M uh, to the universal enveloping algebra of rectangular W, w algebras of type A by uh, determined by these relations. Then we can construct a uh, homomorphism from the Gwaiza Fine Yangian and to the universal enveloping algebra use of the standard W algebras of type A like this, where we use the evaluation map and we uh, add the daily correlation terms. At first, uh, then it is enough to check that. Phi is compatible with, uh, with, with uh, defining relations of the minimized representation of the device of fine young. At first, I show this by the direct computation, uh, but there exists another proof. Uh, uh, it is a similar way to the one of the brand and question. Yes. This is a joint work with Cordera. Uh, 
this uh, the first I remark that the universal enveloping algebra of left standard W algebras of type A yeah, it can be realized as a subalgebra, as a degree wise completion of the tensor of the universal enveloping algebra of KLM via the neural map. And we also remark that then the phi, phi satisfy these commutative diagrams. Since the co-product co and the evaluation map and the shift operators uh, or homomorphism so phi becomes the homomorphism so we can show the she can show that phi is compatible with the uh, minimized presentation of the twice of an yang there exists a super version of this main this theorem uh, suppose that M and N is greater than and equal to two, and M is not equal to N. This is a condition in order to define the affine superandian. We also assume that L is equal to two, uh, equal is, is L is greater than and equal to two. And uh, this condition is needed, uh, sorry, in the case uh, L is equal to one, uh, the, I, res I all, I have already resolved. Uh, it is uh, not nothing but nothing but evaluation mark. And we also fix epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 appropriately. Uh, they are independent of K. Then, under these conditions, there exists a super algebra homomorphism from the affine super yang yang to the universal enveloping algebras of the standard W super algebras of type A. If k is non-critical, moreover, and then the image of phi is dense into tiles. So any representation of the extended W super algebras of type A can be regarded as a representation of the affine super yandian. And if k is non-critical, then the irreducibility condition can be preserved. And at the end, I, I, I have explained the other types, that is the type two PKs. And in the finite setting, uh, Brown has shown show that there exists a subjective homophism from twisted onions, which are one kind of two coidals of the finite onions of type A to the rectangular the finite W algebras of type CD. So we, we, and the const I saw I construct the affine case of this. This will be, uh, I, ho I hope to construct the affine case of the, the this, this result. So I define uh, the affine twisted yandia as a subalgebra of the twice affine yandia uh, by using um, the analogy of the dream feature presentation of the twisted yandia. Which is the, which is defined, which is constructed, which is constructed by Bayard and uh, Legalski. Then we, uh, I show that uh, this algebra fine twisted yandia uh, is a coider of the fine twisted yandia of the, sorry, this is the degree wise completion of the coider of fine yandia. And we also show that the when we restrict the phi of the of the, the, of the main theorem to the affine twisted yandia, then it becomes a subjective homophil to the universal enveloping algebras or less than the double algebras of type D. So any representation of the rectangular double super double algebras of type D can be regarded as a full representation of some coider of the affine yandia, who is affine yandia. Um, but we need to improve the definition of the affine twisted yandia since it is not useful one. So uh, this, uh, this is all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.
so much. Uh, are there any questions for Mamru? Um, do, do you know whether there's also an AGT correspondence for, for the rectangular WH of us? I mean, do, do these FN youngians also appear in some kind of geometric setting? I hope to improve. I, I hope to uh, co construct the uh, analog, but, I, I, but there exists no uh, improvement. Sorry. <laughs> the, the, maybe it will, maybe the, the, 